Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to One Piece episode 1116. I already saw that Buggy was on the thumbnail and I read the title just now. So let's go get it. Buggy's big declaration. So something's telling me he's gonna be a big part of the episode. Not sure. <laughs> um, but also I just want to say thank you to Spyler for sending me uh, bits earlier, like 10,000 bits. I'm not able to live stream my reaction as I usually do on Twitch. I've been having some buffering issues this morning. I think it's Twitch servers. I'm not sure. I'll try again later. But um, yeah, Spyler sent bits, Modri sent bits. And in the live chat, I was going to have Cherry, Dark Shadow, Panya, Mike was here, Sotos, um, Spyler and Modri was there. And I was really looking forward to watching along with everyone. But, yeah, things don't always work out the way you want them to. So, anyway, I will just jump straight into the episode. Uh, I look, I'm looking forward to it. It's been uh, every week consistently hype, 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 hype. And now we're switching over to Buggy, apparently. I wonder why. So, let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm practicing. Practicing. <laughs> Why? The family's killer is now living a happy life. Literally. Oh. That's why they're living a happy life. <gasps> we haven't seen her in so long. I, I don't I thought this was in the past honestly when I first saw it because I remember this guy but I don't remember him looking like that I, but this is looks more like him like I remember him I just didn't know I don't know but it's been so long how could I know okay so the family's killer is living a happy life because they got sent money. Because bounties are being put on Navy soldiers by Cross Guild. Um, and this is important to me. Pepe Kingdom. When, what happened? How did Pepe Kingdom get to this point where they're starving? Like, annually, thousands of people starve. Like how did how did that happen? Is it the Navy's fault? But I guess it and and what was the Navy doing there trying to save them from? Like he was there. What was oops? I pressed zero instead of what was he doing there? There was a fire because the place Pepe Kingdom already thousands of people are starving annually, right? Now we see this one scene where there's fires everywhere. What caused this? So something caused this for Navy people to go there to try and help the people. But then because he has a bounty on his head, so it's like walking money, he was killed and now the family can eat. So like it's obviously a very traumatic situation. 
But I, what I don't know, okay, what I don't, what I need to know eventually, there's this Pepe Kingdom. How did it turn out like this? And what happened here? Just as much information as possible. What caused all these fires? So, in other words, why did the Navy go there? Was it the fires? Or are they like the fire brigade? Uh, was it pirates that ravaged the, the, an already ravaged town? What? caused the fire slash why was the navy there the answer to that is just it's not that important because the navy was there because yes the, the, the as a whole the navy is corrupt but individual soldiers aren't Like, I'm sure T-Bone himself wasn't some evil guy that deserved to die. But that family also didn't deserve to starve. But one, two wrongs don't make a right. So it's just, there's no point in talking about right and wrong there. Because it's, it's a tragedy. End of story. But what we need to talk about, or what I'd like to talk about, is trying to figure out... But it's too vast for this video and life in general. Like, it's a t tough topic. But point... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Point. the cause the overall cause of this we have a corrupt world government we have corrupt people in the navy we have but we also have good people in the navy we have good and bad pirates we all but because of the corrupt world government uh, not just the world government itself but various kingdoms around the world kings can be corrupt and for some reason the pepe kingdom turned into this um suffering wasteland and now, like, what caused that? That's the only thing that we really need to talk about. What, what chain of events turned this country to the, to the kind of place where people are so desperate that they would kill anyone for money? Like, it doesn't matter if it's, yes, it's a Navy officer, but no one should uh, need or have to kill others for food. And he shouldn't have died. To pay for someone's food. Do you understand? So to me. What is right overwhelming right now. Is just. The fact that you can never point. Because there are situations like this in the real world. And you can never point to one or two things. Or one or two corrupt people. That caused this. It's always like a, a huge chain of events. And even when you can point to one or two corrupt people. Or ten. Sometimes four of those ten, like in my country, if you try and be a whistleblower, you get offed. So sometimes people are corrupt, not even because they're bad, but because they, they just take money. Because otherwise, if they try and say something, they're killed. So my point is, how do you get, how do you get in a country or in a position so bad where even telling the truth could get you killed? Even just trying to help people gets you killed. And that's not to say that these, the citizens are to blame. But you could also, like in a general sense, in the real world, wonder, like, what if the citizens, like, if, if we give away our power so much that the corruption, it, the power that we give to others make them so corrupt that it gets to this point where we can't even... It's a fucking... It's a tough topic, and that's why I like shows like One Piece that kind of just break it down and... Oh my god. And then it's tough because now we're switching over to buggy and it's like light and fun and joking and I'm just like, wait, I'm not ready to laugh. Sorry. It is. I think it looks great. Oh. Oh, it looks like him and his chef. And they have to sail on it too. So, here's a good example of of what I was trying to say about citizens and not placing any blame on citizens, like even in my country, not at all in the show, but 
especially you know once it's so far gone but you see leave the ship building to me we got an amazing ship right is it buggy's fault that the ship looks like that is it or is it their fault for trusting buggy to build a ship after everything that's already happened do you see what i'm saying like both sides carry some weight if you're gonna hand over your power keep handing over your power to someone and not be involved and then suddenly they're taking advantage and corruption is going rampant because you know you weren't involved i'm just saying in a in a very difficult sense when our leaders are corrupt and we've let them let letting them get away with things to a point where but then the other thing when people when you try and be a whistleblower and then they kill you can you be blamed for not whistleblowing no but how does it get to that point where it gets that bad you know what i'm saying that's the it just always feels like there has to be someone to blame like okay who who's killing the damn whistleblowers can we blame that person <laughs> it's so life is tough That's insane. They want to establish a utopia with overwhelming strength. Isn't that what everyone wants? Isn't that what fucking Aka Akainu wants? Like it's being framed in the comedic way a lot of it, but when I see stuff like this, like the blood dripping off his hook and If they didn't want him to say that, they could have, they couldn't they just have killed him right there? So doesn't a part of them also want that? Because they didn't stop him? Sorry, she was meowing and she's gonna, in two minutes, she's gonna want to go outside. Oh, hi. Hi. This is new. Well, not really, but I mean, during a video. Ooh. 
Squish is cute. <coughs> Wait, I'm choking. You can't say Sabo's name when I'm choking. <gasps> oh my god, okay. So I know who the VI is because I, I looked yesterday. See, this is why I have to live stream. I need the I need the I need to refresh. Refresh my memory. Oh, they chose a very good VA for him. Very good. Perfect for his personality. That's Bello Bitty, right? I don't know all their names. Why does he keep looking at her like that? It makes it look suspicious. Ayashi. Ayashi. But I'm sure it's not what we think. It's just. Yes, that I remember that. I remember that. And then, but while he was talking to them, isn't that when the. Oh, maybe he already evacuated them and then he wanted to make a point, like prove. I thought they was gonna squash him. <laughs> oh, he's got the perfect voice for Sabo. Wow. I'm I don't remember all the characters now, but except one that I saw on the picture was Mob. Oh, he's got the goodest boy voice. <laughs> まずは休みなさい。気持ちの整理が先。ありがとうございます。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。
usually after an arc, once everything's been resolved, he's been defeated and some time has passed, I can look at it from a more entertainment perspective. It's like how they're written and characteristics because he's a very entertaining villain. He's got a like, great personality, very villainous, you know, with the cigar and everything. And, um, and he's handsome. So like afterwards, afterwards, I've been saying it's the same thing with Lucci happened. Like I start to like them as a villain or an antagonist in the story for their entertainment side and just for, you know, their personality, the, yeah, how they're written. So it changed a little bit. Like when I saw, when I'd see Crocodile, I'd get excited because, oh my God, Crocodile's back. Like from, from the entertainment perspective, I looked forward to it. But this episode actually made me feel like I felt a really, um, I felt really sad <laughs> from the intro. And the, even with what they were doing to Boggy and stuff, I mean, you know that th this is, this is the pirate world. This is how they are with each other, how they, like, it's not sunshine and roses. Um, and, but then it reminded me of the reality of the situation and, and who these people are and what they are willing to do. And then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not so excited for him anymore. <laughs> And it kind of just made me feel a little bit similar to how I felt during Arabasta when I was like, oh, now I remember why I hated you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have to just admit that my feelings there is kind of like a roller coaster after seeing that intro. It really made me feel, well, I want to say very sad because not just for the story, but just in the real world, because knowing how much those people must be suffering in order to to kill someone, stab him in the back for the money. And th this is not a criminal. This is a regular citizen who has just been suffering for a long time. Like, I feel bad for T-Bone, but I feel bad for the citizen too. And it's like, I don't want to blame either of them. They're both victims in the situation. But also, because oh, I mean... I just feel like there's a bigger problem, but then I'm like, what? If we keep pointing to the bigger problem, will we will we ever find the problem to solve? Maybe, maybe along the way. If you, Maybe the whole point is that there's no one person to blame, but rather I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. It's just sad. Some, feel, some things feel just sad. And then it makes you feel powerless. But then you think, I guess, about... That's why characters like Luffy and Goku and the, all these other characters, they're so inspiring because... Or they're so well-loved because in a, in a... What seems like a hopeless world, those characters make you feel like there's hope. But anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, <clears throat> so um, I'm going to upload my reaction first and then people on the Discord can watch that. And then I'm going to do the review, discussion, manga chapter comparison in a separate video and upload that to YouTube, which I usually separated that way anyway for YouTube. So it was really great though, um, but very difficult emotionally. Uh, but it was amazing to see Sabo again. His voice suits him so perfectly. Like, I almost want to say even more perfectly than his, than the previous voice actor. Okay, well, I'll end the video here. <clears throat> then I'll do the review and manga chapter comparison. Hopefully, I'll see you next Sunday. I'll try and record my reaction before I leave for Japan, which is only in the, like, 6 p.m. in the evening. Bye!